What up, YouTube? How is everyone? I hope good. I'm Sunny with Healing Power Divine Universe, and I am here with a message straight from God today. God is here with me to help heal the sicknesses in the wor this world and to point out all the illegal shit that goes on and to definitely bring justice into a lot of situations. So with that being said, I'm going to start by showing you my tarot and oracle cards I pulled for this reading, and then I'll move on to the channeled message. We have the Empress, all four queens in the deck, somebody that's been through a tremendous battle journey throughout their life. Speaking of journey, journey, daughters of the mother, walkers of the unknown, take with you on this journey all that you hone. Triumph. Page of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Guilty of abusing another human being, prison for the rest of their lives. God warned you for the last time. Earth grounding. No need to fear. Remember how powerful you are. Temperance, sign of balance and healing. Also an earth angel. Cauldron, bewitching, yes it be. Blink and you shall see a bubbling desire left in the brewing rain. Prosperity begins. Seven of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, having all kinds of mini options to choose from. You are fucking stupid to believe you were getting away with this. We have Prosperity. Mortality, life is brief, bright, beautiful, and yours to live. We have the Seven of Moss, the Seven of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. All Hallows' Eve, call upon the voices that stir your senses through the night. Cast an unforgiven howl as you stomp your might through the ground. Transformation. Justice. Sign of Libra. Doesn't have to be. Could be towards a Libra. Um, they're balancing out these scales. Somebody's been reading up on the laws. And they're taking their fucking blindfolds off to what this situation is. I had the chills super bad when I said that. Raping children. God is here warning you right now to stop. Raping his children or you will fucking die. We have boundaries. And the last card is growing up. Wanting to grow in experience. Rejection of youth. Okay. On a more loving and positive side of this holiday season. I want to bring more love back into my readings. As even me can see that I am not too happy with the way this channel has had to change so much due to the fact that this world has not stopped to really think about the love and light I truly am and you all too. God is here again as you can see the brightness back in this room and not in a car by the way. I am not homeless. I am not a homeless schizophrenic like even my brother claimed to no one even though it is in those fake court documents that he still has, hasn't has had the time to call about. But then again, God is not there anymore as he has seen the hard work I have put, been putting in so he has to want something to happen, right? Well, I know my Christmas will be spent alone, but then again, we truly are never alone. As my mother is to never abandon me again, even if she was a victim of Andy Viopondo those the most well I was unable to decorate again this year as my decorations are in a storage unit unlike what Alex Romero told my daughter about me losing it all as they wanted to upset her not really as she never told her I was back in Rollins Wyoming as they thought I'd leave again up until I decided it was best not to be homeless again, according to that plan that failed once again. 
Now, why would anyone ever want to see anyone homeless? Well, it was to defer someone again from seeing the truth, but that plan backfired again. So here I am actually telling someone I am never to believe a stupid 19-year-old 19 year old stupid plan again. Now, as far as me being a prostitute, well, that answers your question, next question, as I know they claimed I do things to make money, like sucking dick, but then again, I never did for you. So why can't these channeled messages stay positive? Well, it's because I am not a man, as they text in those text messages, that they sent to most of my friends and family to get you all to believe their stupid plan. Well, again, it is now backfiring as my cell phone number is not Alex Romero's. So now I'm able to use full names as you are aware. She is a psychopath too, as she thinks she is conning you all more too. But in her phone, she forgets there is a semi card that saves everything too. So he, her man is not too happy as he took that too. As he was a victim this weekend of her spreading lies and gossip about not only me, but this entire town, especially about sleeping with a Murray brother that I used to be friends with too. But instead of it being her, it was supposedly me too. Now this man is aware that it wasn't me, it was that Judge Snyder, Jen, Flatface, Diane Clumas, Melissa O, and of course, Melissa Heroin that sent it to everyone on her iPhone 11 too. So these smart ass bitches were caught again, besides they fucked up with the wrong brother, as he isn't their friends too, and he watched my channel recently, as he was curious about my family as they kept calling his daddy and his dad would act like he was a victim of Sonny Viopondo too, until he heard his mother say to his long lost brother, Jake Viopondo, according to the phone records too, that they recorded as he was Andy Viopondo's son too, not to shut up his real daddy, but his so-called Andy Viopondo too. As this man called their real daddy, and said Sonny was talking shit about Rollins, as she is a schizophrenic, but was met by not their dad, but my, but by Jake Viopondo's real friend from college that then said, what's up, Travis, as he recognized his good man having a hand in this game. Now, they then called Gamblin and told them to arrest Sonny Viopondo, so she would shut up again, but were met with a hang-up as that corrupt cop was told to never be a pussy lover of Melissa Heroin's again now too. As she isn't able to talk her way out of this shit anymore, as her so-called sex rituals are now dead in Rollins, Wyoming too. The fact that these two heroin addicts are so fucking hated now will now stop this shit now as Jake Viopondo and Sonny Viopondo are not the things these two and cult members were claiming all these years as they smartened up five years ago as a woman was having a non rough day when she made her way to a fair one day she was the most gorgeous woman there especially to a provident family that seen her beautiful jazzy too after they seen her they knew something was not adding up anymore as that Andy Viopondo told her dad, or excuse me, told their daddy that she was a prostitute and a homeless woman too, along with Jake Viopondo, and let's not forget Petey Chokas and that human trafficker Jared Wilcox, who isn't actually Dustin Kramer, but not in this fucked up town, as Dustin Kramer is actually Zach Rogers and Jody Rogers too. Now, the last names are all allowed as they are now going to hell now. But then again, they're still here, but not in reality, as they too sold their souls to that cult leader, Dave Rader, who is now a huge fag now too. Now, this could go on for years and years, so let's stop here for now. Thank you, Murray Brothers, for not stopping this too. As I know you are so involved, you ran to your daddy for help, but he actually isn't alive, according to his death certificate. And by the way, 90 times 
um, in the past year too. LOL, good luck losing those fancy lives too, as you all are so caught too. By the way, that message wasn't for TJ, as I am aware he raped me that night too. Peace and blessings.